Hello guys, and welcome to more Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, oh, Mass Effect Andromeda, oh my god. Guys, it has been a long day. We are not playing Mass Effect Andromeda, thank god. We are playing Mass Effect, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm Gina, aka the Gina Chu. Let me mess with my camera just a second because this camera likes to mess up on me. You are more than free to lurk right when you have fun with your D, D, I'm just going to zoom in my camera because this camera likes to zoom itself out i probably actually should have test tested hey i probably should have tested the video beforehand actually because i have a feeling it got moved around how are we feeling are we liking it are we feeling okay about it i think we're feeling okay about it okay Hello guys, welcome to more Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna start the game up. I don't wanna wait, I don't want any preamble. We're just gonna do it. Um, I figured out what my problem was um, with the keeper scanning that we had last time. Um, specifically that problem being um, that <laughs> I, uh, was looking for the wrong keeper, basically. The keeper that I thought that I had missed, girl, I'd already gotten her, but there was another one that I think I misread where it was on the list. So, we're gonna go grab that one. Oh, but it lets me resume straight from here? <gasps> Don't toy with my emotions, game launcher! convenience. Are you actually fucking kidding me right now? That is actually kind of cool if it does that. If it just like loads up the game and just loads my save. That would be fucking wild. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Okay. So, we're here at the, the launch. Is it gonna immediately load? <gasps> Stop. Oh my god! Okay. Well done, Bioware. I don't know how you pulled that off without destroying the game, but you fucking did. Um, okay, so the one that I was missing is actually in CSEC. Um... It's on the other side of CSEC from the one that we got in CSEC. And then the last one is um, up the elevator that is in CSEC. So basically, we need to go to CSEC because uh, this ish needs to uh, be finished. And we're going to be finished very soon with it. I'm very excited to get it finished. Also, we have to go to Executor Palin's office. Um, a lot of these ones that like I didn't have the special... Um, selections for um i uh i think i'm doing a little too early so i think i'm gonna come back later and try some of them like the one with the the um the preaching hanar and stuff like that um okay i don't have any of that done yet which is fine okay so oh, we went up there to the to the um the comms tower but where we need to go for this other one is down here in the requisitions office there should be one over here here he is there you go little scamp and i believe that there should be one left yes okay so we did not miss any the next one should be up here which is where the normandy is um so I'm thinking oh, do I wanna go up here now we might as well binary helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the genetics corporation of fraud the Krogan group okay, had contracted binary helix to perform studies with a long-range oh man look at that quickness oh oh my god this is incredible look at the look at the graphics you can actually see the force field here oh stop 
Hi, Charge! How are you, my love? And welcome back to the stream, guys. You remember Charge. I, You know I adore you. How are you? How is your day? Trust, hello. Keepers always cause trouble, but this is my last one right here. And the game even gives you a celebratory little song because it knows what a tedious fucking thing this is. Okay, so Scared the Keepers is officially complete. Bless up. We are done with that. Okay. So the last one I want to pick up um, is from Executor Palin's office. And then I believe what we're going to be doing next is... Yeah, going to take down Fist at Cora's Den. Yeah. I think maybe next time we go uh, to the Citadel, we'll see if I can... Get that hat on street. Of Eden Prime, we and if we do, then I'll try the others. With Serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Oh, Nirali Bhatia. We'll be dealing with that later, too. Chef, Serviceman Bhatia joined the we love ourselves, Serviceman Bhatia, but um, we're actually going to learn a little bit more about her uh, a little later on. Which I think is kind of cool. Um... Okay, so we need to go to the executive's office, uh, executive Palin's office, which means we need to go to the embassies. Oh, you want a snack, but you're in bed? Just, just snack in bed. Por qué no los dos? Go get yourself something to snack on. And yes, trust the game does though. The game knows how much of a pain in the butt it is. And by the way, I think I said there was like 25 or something keepers last time. There's 21. I double checked the count as well after last stream. There's 21 of them. They do force you to walk all around the Citadel, though, which you should to pick up, you know, side quests and stuff. Um, but this actually has uh, another side quest on it as well. So let's override this ish. Okay, uh, my fellow Biotic, you've been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plate. If you understand us, if you tolerate us, we must stand together. We must build our own new world. Oh, Lord. Let's not build a whole new world. Uh, strange transmission, which turns into... Let's see, Richard Kyle. Okay. Oh, the suspicious... Oh, we could do suspicious gambling machine, too? Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. We have to go do that. The Suspicious Gambling Machine quest is, uh, a little interesting. It says, after the first meeting with the council, which we already had, so we should be able to do it. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. guide. No, thank you, Avina. I never want you to be my guide, no matter how many times you ask. Um. Flux. So I showed you guys those gambling machines before and I told you it's kind of like a blackjack kind of a game. Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't know why I didn't trick it the first time I came in here, but. Hey now, rude. The music's kind of lit though. Shepherd Shuffle. By the way, something I learned today, thanks to Twitter, um, the guy who voices uh, Jenkins, uh, who gracefully dies right in the beginning of the game, uh, said that he was actually the motion capture guy for male shepherds shepherd dance. So Jenkins is responsible for the Shepherd Shuffle. And that was something I learned today. And I will pass that fun knowledge on to you. What's up, guy? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're oh, cheating. Oh, Garbus! I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. How are you cheating? Easy. Of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. That's still that? cheating! Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. 
I just need a few more wins recorded. I won't help you cheat, no, or let me do it. I kind of want to do the quest. I feel like we kind of should, huh? I'll do I'll it. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try. It's okay, Garrus. We need credits to save the world. I'm, I'm doing it well, for the money. Well, you enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Yeah, we need to make sure to not get caught. That data won't collect itself. So, I forget how many games we need to win, but we basically also need to make sure that we lose a game on occasion. Because if we keep winning, um, the security will start bugging us and, and being like... You know? Uh, I got 2,600 coin right now. I think that should be enough to do this with. We'll go to the low stakes Quasar. Uh, I think that's all we really have to do, right? Go to Flux of the Upper Wards and use the gambling machines at least five times. Don't get caught. Okay, so we need to use it five times. Okay, so let's pay. So I can add four to seven or one to eight. And again, we can't go above 20. Um, so I'll win a game. Okay, so I'm gonna play again, but this time I'm gonna lose so that I don't look sus. Okay. Uh, two. Okay, let's just bang on a button until we get something bad. Now, sometimes you can win and not mean to. You know what I mean? So, we're gonna try to bust. Oh, shit. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. I getting in trouble. I want to lose. Give me lose, please. No. Okay. We need to lose this time. This is why I saved before we did this, by the way, guys. There we go. Oh, man, I lost. Oh, man, this game is rigged. Wow. Oh, man. It sucks. Dang. Dang, Navit. Sometimes you can't even win if you want to, guys. Your luck seems unnatural, human. I'm trying, okay. Is that enough? Is the question. It doesn't look like it is. So we're gonna we're gonna try to lose some more. Actually, you know what I should ah shit, I should have saved before I did this. Fuck. Alright, well. If we fail, we'll fail. I'm not gonna quibble over this small side quest, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I have to win five times, or it says use it five- I guess I have to try to win five times. Aw, oh, man! I lost! This is terrible! I don't know when to stop pressing my lock! Recorded enough wins on Shell's device. You want to keep playing? No. We got away with it, guys. Run! Run for your lives! I wasn't cheating. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Commander Shepard. Okay, we're done. Here. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? I sure did. Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. Okay, so that was... Showing his data. Um, 
actually, oh, okay, so originally in the game it was called Shells the Gambler. Here they changed it to Shells and his data. That's interesting. No. Wait a minute. Oh, no, it is. And this says available after completing Citadel Rita's sister, but I didn't complete that yet. So they must have changed the way some of the stuff gets triggered in Legendary Edition. I do know that they took some of the big DLC in Mass Effect 2 and 3 and made it only trigger after certain parts of the game to make it fit more in line with the timeline rather than just giving you all the big DLC right at the beginning of the game. Um, but I didn't think they switched this kind of stuff around. That's interesting. Okay. I'm supposed- I assume that's supposed to be Shells the Gambler, but it says Shells and his data here. Um... But there's supposed to be something else with the- with these machines up here that I can get a quest from. That I almost forgot about. These are low-stakes Quasar, high-stakes Quasar, high-stakes Quasar. But there's a suspicious gambling machine over here, guys. Here we go. And now we've started Citadel signal tracking. Okay, and all of this stuff is after we deal with that mysterious Corian that we heard about. Okay, so I'll try again, like, after we, you know, get some more evidence. But for now, we need to go deal with Fist. That is our next, uh, a thing on the agenda. Monsieur Fist, we are coming for you. We are gonna go to Cora's Den. We know Rex wants to take Fist out. Nobody likes- nobody likes Fist. So, we're gonna go see what's up. We know he's hanging out in Cora's Den. I like how it calls it a gentleman's club. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming. Yeah, so Fist shut down the club because he knows we're coming. Uh, and if you think we're gonna walk in and just find, you know, nobody there, then you haven't been paying attention. Oh, and it gave me the fucking shotgun when I want my pistol. Always and forever my pistol. Please, game. Take cover! Locked and loaded. The duck it was giving me trouble. <coughs> oh, he's gonna try to charge at me. Never let a crow get close to you. Never let a crow get close to you. I didn't need to be pressing. My finger, my hand let, let, rested on the wrong part of the keyboard. You know what I mean? There we go. Enemy is everywhere! Hey, we got our first enemy is everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, you guys may not remember, but we definitely have the. Uh, Bang enemy command still programmed into the bot because as you know enemy is everywhere okay 
So I, it takes a little bit of convincing to get past this next part without any bloodshed, but let's see if we can pull it off. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Oh! Oh! They don't talk to you anymore. They just fight you. Oh. I don't know if you guys remember if you played Mass Effect before, but in the original Mass Effect, you would walk in here and those two would be standing here and you could have a conversation with them where you could convince them that the danger that Fist was putting them in was not worth the trouble of trying to fight you. And if you could convince them, they would just walk away without a fight. But apparently, they got rid of that. Again, little things that I did not anticipate them changing. It's really interesting. Huh. Would you look at that? What a twist. I think I'm gonna want to see if I can upgrade anything here before I jump in. In case I'm gonna mark them as trash. Can we talk about how great marking things as trash is? charm to convince them but you get to talk to them no matter what it just depends on whether you pass that that conversation check or not but it looks like they got rid of that altogether that's pretty cool tears through your shields. Walk! Okay, take out the turrets first, guys. That's, that's the lesson here. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Ooh, they went right, right into this, too. They definitely changed some of this smaller stuff. Okay, well, Fist, it's a good thing that you surrendered because, uh, yeah. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use <coughs> now. Let me kill him. Rex. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even <sighs> I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, oh. there'll be Saren's men waiting for her. I don't know what the hell happened there. Okay, well. Give me the location, now. We need to find her because we Here need on the her wards, information. In the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. And Rex kills him anyway. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. God, I want to say he deserved it. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. But really, we How don't shoot unarmed died prisoners. because of him. He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That like quarry is dead if we don't go now. Okay, I love this fine. Okay, so we have to get to the quarry to ward her, but first we want to take this storage disc for um, Emily Wong. Oh. No, um, fuck. How do we, how do I, how do I heal again? I forgot the healing button. First aid is V, okay. And I just did that because I see a health thing over here. And so I'm gonna grab it. Was that a health thing? No, it wasn't. I thought it, it looked like a health thing. It wasn't. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I got the item for Emily. We now need to go, and I will show you exactly where we're going to go. I 
It's not too terribly far, but you do need to put the pedal to the metal, especially since more people decided to show up. Oh! My hot- that's why my abilities aren't firing. My hot bar's gone. What happened to the hot bar? Why did it not save itself? Game. Right. I'm gonna try to move some of my guys forward to try and lure some of these campers out who just like don't want to fucking go. Um, so let's. Not without an hammer. Well. What do you mean? No can do. What do you mean no can do? You're literally standing right there. Come on. says regroup. Holy shit. <clears throat> Are you two numbskulls AI okay? Because, like, honestly. Um, okay. So now we actually need to hurry up. Now we're actually starting to get a little low on time. But I think it should be okay. All we have to do is go through this hallway. She's somewhere in this hallway, I believe. There she is. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. trust him fantastic were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you god tolly looks so good my name's shepherd <coughs> i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway yeah Come on, Tali. We don't know her name's Tali yet, but guess what? Her name's Tali. <laughs> Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Cora's den. Do you know how many? Smack you in your high definition face. Corian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Talizora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? <coughs> I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. By the way, speaking of Tali, uh, for those of you who are interested, uh, it is confirmed that in Mass Effect 3, uh, in the Legendary Edition, they did replace Tali's face. So, that bullshit terrible Photoshop job is gone. Uh, so basically what the pilgrimage is, just so that I can save us time, is, um, basically teenagers, kind of, quote-unquote, uh, teenager quarians will leave the flotilla. <coughs> it's basically a bunch of ships that they all, they're kind of like space nomads. They, they're, they go in a flotilla of ships and they just kind of sail around the galaxy because they lost their home planet. Long story, we'll learn more about it later. But, um, basically as a sort of a, a passage into adulthood, um, Quarians will leave the flotilla to go experience the world outside and bring back information and tech back to the ships to help to show that they can kind of like contribute to Quarian society. So that is, Tali is on her pilgrimage right now. 
Okay. And between you and me, I think saving the galaxy definitely worth the pilgrimage. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. The Geth took their whole world. I tracked a patrol of Geth to a <coughs> uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. They do? What did you find out? <coughs> Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's That's more. What the conduit is, Saren don't wasn't know. working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer <coughs> to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Well, we've seen her, but we don't know who she is yet. I Actually, I believe they referred to her as the Matriarch. I believe it's what they referred to her as in the one scene where we saw her. And Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Hold on one second, please, guys. I think you know what's about to happen. We are going to take this person... And, uh, we're gonna swing the ban hammer. Because we don't play that game around here. <laughs> um, so. Um, she is right, though. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. We sure did. The Geth revere <coughs> the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just <coughs> going to love this. By the way, if you are a Final Fantasy XIV player, like I am, uh, they just announced the new, well, one of the new classes coming to the next big expansion later this year, and it's called Reaper. So, <laughs> I was kind of losing my mind the entire time <laughs> they were talking about it. Uh, and it's great because it's pretty much a JoJo character with a scythe. You have a, a uh, creature that you summon, a creature, a being, I don't want to get into what it is, but if you know the Final Fantasy XIV lore, you know what it is. Um, but it's like a creature that they can summon. It's ba you're basically a JoJo character. I am extremely excited for it. Um, anyway. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. They sure and do. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. Yes, she has a name, Rex! You saw me in the alley, Commander. <coughs> you know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. <coughs> you won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead. We have a new friend though. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, yeah. So, um, we now have, uh, another member. We still have one more left to recruit. I'm gonna make this ladies knight for a second just so that I can level them up and keep them. To me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. We have a bunch of points that I can put in now. Um. <coughs> oh, you know what? I really want barrier. So that I can not... I 
And again, I'm just turning her into a fucking powerhouse. I want her to be... Look at that! 36... Okay. It's, it's just like... My health is 148. Hers is 168. Like, she's just... She's, she's just a fucking powerhouse. So I see we got some equipment. I should upgrade their equipment too while I'm here. Yeah, I really don't have anything else, so. <coughs> Four percent weapon stability. I'll take that. Tolly. Have some chemical rounds. Ashley. <coughs> Ashley fights with her Lancer. Okay. Sometimes I have to do that to remind myself what, you know, people mostly fight with. Beautiful. Okay, so we got the thing out of here. We're good. All we have to do now is go to the tower. Okay, Garrus is happy because this is all done. Rex finished his job. So he feels all good about that. <coughs> Tully got her in. Ah, Excuse here we go. Me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Oh, we sure can. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. You may recognize that last name. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Oh, Pride. by the way, I brought Wait, Ashley. The 212? I forgot. Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. That's right. Chief I Williams. forgot. I forgot it she did. It's a pleasure. Narali <coughs> spoke of you with great respect. I forgot that they were I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, we're not having that happen. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. <clears throat> I totally forgot when I put Ashley in my party just now that she is in the same, uh, she was in the same squad as Narali. That is true. And you get that little extra bit of dialogue if you have her with you when you pick up that quest. Okay, Bosker, you and I need to have a long discussion. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. I sure am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous <coughs> or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. Oh, is it? The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death. Than she did in life. Okay, and now we finally have enough Paragon points to be able to put something right. So now we're gonna say, no, this isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. That's right. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, but we cannot sacrifice our humanity while we do it. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. See? All right, Commander. You win. 
It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Good man! Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Okay. Yeah, I, to I totally get why they want to hold on to her body. But, I mean, dude, you gotta be respectful. It'd be one thing if he was okay with them keeping it, but he wants Hello to Hello again, back. Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh? <sighs> I don't know if this helps, but your wife... Oh, I forgot about this! Nirali loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Reeves. But thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Ow, my heart! If you weren't such a butt face, I would keep you in my party more often. I'm not the biggest fan of Ashley. I don't know if I should if, if I should keep Ashley or Caden alive. Should I leave it up to you guys? Do you guys want to decide? Like, if we help Ashley or Caden? Uh, I shouldn't have said that out loud, probably. See if you like Ashley or Caden better. I'm an idiot. Let me know which one you like better. We're going to be picking up a bunch of other quests here, too. There's a couple we're going to be picking up in this area. Um, we're going to go back and see Dr. Michelle. We've got stuff we are doing. We are busy beavers Udina's today. presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Yes! Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch Benezia. Oh, yes. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. Opal Phoenix! She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. By the way, uh, one of the changes that they made uh, to Legendary Edition is that if you fall into water or lava or anything like that it's not instant death you just take damage over time in the mako until your hp goes away the <gasps> there oval phoenix has given us the twitch prime sub also rex thank you i appreciate it and i love you very much bro the geth believe the reapers are gods and saren is the prophet for their return we think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Agreed! Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Yes! This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. 
A convenient lie to cover Seren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Seren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Seren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Of course he is, because he won't go there! Cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. It's true. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. Whoa, Dina! another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. It's too soon! Humanity is not ready for We're the responsibilities that come with joining us. We're not the ready to have a specter. It's too soon! They're babies, says the Turian throwing a temper tantrum. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the ambassador gets his human specter. Everybody's happy. It's true. <laughs> These are like, yeah, boy, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. We gonna be specter. Commander Shepard, step forward. This is such a cool scene. love this everybody stops and just like is just watching like what is happening it is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the citadel specters are not trained but chosen individuals forged in the fire of service and battle those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. That's right! Vectors are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. Against the worst scum of the, the safety universe. of the galaxy you is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment. I know, trust. It is. It's emotional. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Uh, we do have I'll some needs, him. which I believe... This meeting of the Council is adjourned. They don't have any... That's right, they don't have any leads, but... Other people do. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre requisition. Oh, we sure and should. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this hey, up. Hey, Spectre inductee! Look at that! Simultaneously earning trophies on Steam and Origin. I the because EA would be a forces you to have Origin open. Didn't even thank you. So stupid. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? That's right. Come on. Right behind. Yeah, you. get those sweet chivos, man. Okay. So we do have to go talk to the requisitions officer. The heck. Um. What we also are gonna do is go see Doctor Michelle, and we're gonna pick up some. Uh, we're gonna pick up two quests here. We're gonna visit Doctor Michelle. We're gonna to talk to Rear Admiral Kahoku no, over I'm here. Waiting to speak with one. Congratulations on becoming the first human specter commander. Thank you, I'm Admiral. You'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the specters. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Please tell me about your problems. Something wrong, Admiral? It's what I do. I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. 
all of a sudden. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out. I of sure can. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Nor should you, good sir. Um, okay, so we now have uh, UNC missing Marines. That's one of the ones that we want to. Uh... Oh, the signal tracking. Um, yes, wards access right. Yeah, we're gonna have to I'll figure that out. Info on where my team was last seen to your ships. I'm going Maybe on. You can fix the answers. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Oh God, we get to run. It's great. I hope he's okay. All right, Gareth, you're the other person I need to speak to around here. I'm on a break. <laughs> I'm on a Talk break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's Maybe all? I can help. My guy. Mm. My dude. Maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. Not yet, but we will be. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my I brother. I don't like her lipstick Not color. yet. I wish I could I've got it. the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. I'll take a look. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. The purple hair looks Please great in Mass Effect 1, though. Them. It's so nice to have more hair colors. Oh, look at look at Ashley's hair. Look at the look at the textures on her hair. Ooh. Okay, Bioware. And so that Anthony gets a look at his favorite lady. Tolly. Anthony loves him some Tolly. Don't blame him. She's pretty great. Okay, let's go speak to Dr. Michelle. They did change her pick in ME3, yep. We were just talking about that earlier. They sure did. Bed clinic. It's not as much of a face reveal, in my opinion, but, but, it's much better than what it was in the original ME3. Hold on. Okay, I do. Alright, I just want to make sure I had full health before I went to the punishment. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. Oh, you're welcome, Dr. Michelle. I don't Michelle. know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Oh, that's right, she has stuff for sale. Okay. Um, so, one of the things that I do want to buy if I can are um, the licenses to buy stuff. I don't think that I have the ability to buy licenses yet. Um, but you can see this stuff is costing 170000 I've got 4135 here. Like, this is... It's a little out of my price yes, range, but we can always can come back you? later. I think I have to ask her You're personal doctor. questions. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. Okay. My parents, my father... I chose to keep the I know I've had problems. Alive, but not I'll be going now. Goodbye. I know I've had problems no, triggering this in the past. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Okay. I'll be going now. I'm gonna try Goodbye, to hit her back up again the no, next no. time we come. I don't know if I have to leave the Citadel and then come back for that to trigger. Some some of these quests you have to leave and come back um, in order to trigger. So that might be what happens there. Okay. Oh, we can also talk to Helena Blake. Yeah, we need to talk to Helena Blake. Let's grab that while we're here. Um, Presidium locations, I believe she's in the financial district? Helena Blake is a thing, guys. We're gonna meet her, and I believe that you should keep her in your brain parts, because man oh man, 
Is she a thing? There she is! Leaning there with her casual ass self. What up, Helena? Got a moment, Spectre? Uh, I sure and do. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Oh, do you now? Okay. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. Certain I'm acquainted circles. with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Uh, sure, I'll do it. They're as bad as you say they are. They need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, so... She knows these guys and is like, you guys should probably take them out. And if you think that that sounds suspicious, congratulations, you're not stupid. But we're going to play along for a little bit anyway, because uh, the way that that quest line ends is kind of awesome. Uh, and plus, I want to do all the quests because I want all the experience and all that good stuff. Um, what else can we do while we're here? Um, we can go to... The ward's access, which should bring us near the Hanar, and also be where that weird signal is coming from. Uh, I hopefully will have enough Paragon stuff now to tell this guy to purple and GTFO. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Personally, I don't think he should be. Uh, I don't have enough is yet. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? Let me see. Let me see if I can do the this. The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. The truth of they the gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause Yes! Problems. Goodbye! Get out of here! Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? That's right! The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Uh, no. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. That's right! This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Okay, that is Presidium Prophet done, once I talk to this gentleman. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance. Soldier team. ally, complete now five missions with me, the Alliance Soldier Squad member. Oh! So, yeah, so, um... So, there were, um... There are... Bleh, speak... There were, in Mass Effect 1, um, achievements where you would have to, where it said, complete the majority of the game with each of your companions. And they never really quantified what the majority of the game is. So in Legendary Edition, they changed it to just complete five missions with each person in your party. So that must have been five missions done with uh, Ashley in my party because I just got the achievement for that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I, so I'll actually be able to probably get all of those by the time this is over. That's pretty cool. So here's Ward's access, and I'm hoping that I will have the signal from that mysterious gambling machine that's funneling money. I'm hoping that going down here into the Ward's access will give me that. Also, I now have the opportunity to hear one of two news stories in the elevators that can give me a quest, so I need to be actually paying attention to what is being In other news, Exogeny Corp is still this denying one reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Okay, I believe that is UNC Hostage. No, it's UNC Missing Survey Team. Whoops. Checked off the wrong one. <laughs> oh, you know why? Because I saw Hades Gamma Cluster on my list, but they both take place in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Welp! That's just me being dumb. Alright, so let's see if we can find where this signal went to down here. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? Ah, yeah. signal source. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace a new signal. 
Look at Ashley. Um, now I need to go to the financial district in the Presidium. Cool. I think there might be something down here that I can actually examine for some stuff. Look in here. Oh no, well there's, that's the keeper. This is the keeper that I thought that I was missing. But I in fact did already get that keeper. That was the keeper that in I that confused news, me last time. Chairman side. Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic That is that the is hostage. That is you and the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. So I don't know if they if they forced that to be the first two you hear or if I just got lucky. Um if they forced it, I would be very happy with that because then that means I know I could just skip all of the elevator rides for the rest of the game. Although, if you haven't played the game, I would suggest you listen to some of the banter between people if you can. Emily, I have a Word gift for you. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Thanks, I brought you a present! I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Um, so this is... Reporter's request. Okay. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Give me more money! Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these days. Shower me in credits! <laughs> Alrighty. We got another level up, too. Okay. Oh, I also got my Spectre training, which I probably should start with as well. Um... Ali. I'm trying to up her electronics and decryption so that I can hopefully get into shit. I hate I hate that the game does that. Drives me bananas. Alright, um anyway, I was going to go to the financial district. The lighting, it's so pretty. To get more of that signal. Um, so let's bounce back to the financial district. Uh, does it go somewhere in Barlevon's office? Yes. I can't believe I remembered that. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I forgot the back room here. Yep. I should have realized, because you could see on my radar. Yep. I'm going to save here, because if I remember correctly, this is... This is thing. it. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection, 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI. Yeah. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, Approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. 
All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. It's... It, it's awful. It's all fucking awful! It's all of it, all of it, and every single one of them sucks! Oh boy! Anybody who's finished this trilogy knows why that is a thing. Um, Creator's location, reason for theft. I mean, we could ask those questions. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would oh. then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Okay, no, we're not doing that. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Okay. So this is a game of memory? Usually that thing blows me up. I usually am not so good at that game, but I I was on Oh boy. I sure did the thing. Okay, so that's the end of the signal tracking. Fantastic. Usually I fail that. Um and when you fail it hurts a lot. Um Oh yeah, I have to speak with Shaira. I totally forgot about that. Look at this, the fucking map reminding me. Oh, actually, you know what I need to do first? <laughs> now I'm bouncing back and forth. I need to go talk to the people at the embassies to tell them that the guy that was angry at Shaira lied so that we could clear her name as well. Welcome we need to do that before we turn in the quest to her. Guide. Totally forgot about that. Okay, we need to talk to this fine young gentleman over here. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. So like I said last stream, uh, Elcor cannot emote, and so that's why they state their emotion before they speak. That's why he went sincere apology, because he, you can't tell he's being sincere. Uh, yeah, you and I need to talk. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian <coughs> could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, <coughs> if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only I like how he says that. Doubtful. I suppose Thankful. you're right. <laughs> that was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. 
You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I mean, we kind of do, but also shut your mouth. I would have stuck around for the tail end of that conversation, but the Elcor do talk very Allow me to be your guide. So I decided not to do that. Okay. Um. Cut sorts chambers. Now let's go talk to Shaira. And I believe this time we can just walk on in. That's a really interesting uh, conversation, by the way, about feeling cold by Shaira. It's a thing. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Sure. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Listen up, children! I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. <coughs> not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkhorn Oh, Bosses, the trinkets! I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay, so... Yes. Okay, I forget what the I forget what the trinket does. It does something. I believe if we have the trinket later on, it allows us to do something. I forget though. Let me. Actually, I'm kind of curious. So hold on one moment. Trying to remember what the trinket is for. Okay. It's something it's something we can use on uh on another planet. So we'll get to that once I go planet hopping. Um But yeah, it will be useful. It's going it's going to get us a little something something. Not anything crazy major, but it will get us a little something something. All right. Mm. So, all of these things are outside. We have to go speak to the ambassador at the docking bay. So, it is time for us to purple and GTFO. I don't know why I'm walking. Boop! Also, we need to go talk to the guy in um, CSEC.
Oh, actually, there's other things that we can do, too. I'm going to have to go over some of the other stuff when I come back. I'm not going to do every little thing right now. Because I do want to move on with the main plot. But the next time we come here, we're going to, you know, like, we have to talk to uh, Jaleed, whatever his name was. Uh, the guy that had to scan the keepers for him because his partner thinks he's going to kill him. And we have to figure out that whole mess. Deal with Rita's sister. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must oh. be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Thank you, Anthony. He messaged me, reminded me I forgot to switch back the game. I'm sorry. I'm having a long day today. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. So this is a lot of the rare stuff. This, look at this, like 313,000. This is the real shit. This is the good shit. This pistol, this is like, ooh, I'm very happy. I want it. Um, you could compare, like this is this thing compared to, this is what um, the armor is. It's, it's, you know, this one is not as crazy. Like the armors aren't so great. The weapons are pretty fantastic though. Oh, and here's one of the licenses. Aldrin Labs license. I'll definitely grab that. This way we can buy stuff on uh, on the ship. On our ship. We're going to have a requisitions officer where we can buy stuff from him. It is a little bit uh, more expensive to buy on the ship because there is, like, you know, shipping fees and stuff. But it is much more convenient than trying to track down particular stores. So we'll definitely be making use of it. And I can sell a bunch of shit to him as well. Which is pretty sweet. So, coming up in a report later ready today, for this? Emily Wong investigates corruption yes, on the Emily. Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh, I see flickering texture there on the floor, but that's all right. Look at that, guys! No more log elevator rides. You see that? Did you see how fast that was? Did you see how slick that was? Did you see? Did you see? Okay, Udina. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. So, we don't have to ask him why he's doing this. We know about his past with Saren, and he does not want to seem like he's being partial, so he's stepping away. We get that. We don't have to spend time what asking kind of about it. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Yeah, we're gonna find go to Pharaoh. So we're gonna go to Noveria. Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheum. She sure and does! I don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, be I'll careful, try not to make Dad. Harder on you, Ambassador. Glad Thanks, you're here, Dad. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. You're not my I have a meeting Dad to get that. to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Okay, so we don't need to question him. 
Uh, like I said, we already know what his past with Sarah is, but you can confront him there if you want to. Um, oh, you can also inspect the Normandy's weapons for codex experience and all that good stuff. So now let's go into the Normandy. Let's see what everybody else thinks of these crazy changes. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, look at how smooth the decontamination is. It always stuttered when I played the Heard original game. Heard what happened game. to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Let's do it. Let's be honest. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. You hear that, Joker? Don't fuck it up! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Joker, I love you! Commander! Something you need? Uh, what's the ship status How's report? the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Uh, okay, the only other really thing that you need to know about him is that he was born on a small farming, uh... Um, colony, and he has a brittle bone disease where his bones are kind of like hollow, and so um, he does have to be very careful. I mean, he doesn't fight. He's sitting here in his pilot chair, so he's kind of safe, but he does have that brittle bone disease, and it does it is it it's a thing he has to deal with, and you should probably know about it. I have it. to go. All right, see ya. get some information to talk about that. I don't want to talk to Navigator Presley because he hates that the aliens are on the ship. They're so mean to him. You don't like the... You don't like them. No likey. Uh, let me go look at the rest of the ship. We could actually now also go down to the lower area. There's actually stuff down there that matters now that I can show you guys. Um, but there are a couple of things that I want to do. Uh, that Anderson's quarters are now ours, by the way. Hey, Caden. Anything you need, Commander? I love the way that they redid Caden in Mass Effect 1. Uh, he was, um, he was inc incredibly clean shaven and kind of baby faced in the first game, but they gave him some facial hair to fit in Just line with get a sense of where the, um, Thoughts? the way he looks I've in the future games. Time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. And honestly, I think he looks better we'll talk for another it. time, Lieutenant. See, we can look at the sleeper pod. Well, if there's anything in here, we can observe their shirt. Well, there's Dr. Shockless is over there. We love us some Dr. Shockless. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Uh, we can ask her about Caden. He gets a lot of headaches. Be okay, so Caden is a biotic. Um, there was a spill of Element Zero, or Ezo, that happened in an accident on Earth, and the people in the area that got exposed to it developed those biotic powers. Humans never had it until then. Um, and so they have biotic amps. Goodbye, Commander. 
um, in their head if you have biotics. We are we have biotics, so we have a, a we have a biotic uh, amp in our head as well. Um, uh, to help control those abilities. Now we have uh, like a, I, I, for, I forget what they're called. Um, yeah, we have the amps. We have like a, like a version three of the amp. I forget the exact terminology that they use, um, which is the newest kind. Kata was implanted with the version two, which uh, is known to give people crippling and debilitating headaches. Um, which he very much suffers from. So that is why you can ask um, Shockwas about him because she can explain to you a little bit more about the fact that he has these terrible headaches and, you know, it's a thing he has to deal with. I don't really care about him because I ain't romancing his ass. <laughs> okay, so here is the bottom area. Here we have Rex. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Thank what you. What can I do for you? So Rex... Tali and Garrus we are going to talk to because they all have personal missions that we absolutely want to do and the only way that we can do those personal missions is by asking them about their personal life incessantly so we have to do that what's your story Rex what's your story There's Rex no story. go ask the Quarian if you want stories uh. you Krogans live for centuries don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people it's were, we're infected dumb. with a genetic mutation? They, the Krogan sure were. That makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Did you now? <laughs> the genophage infected us. But it's not what's killing us. Really? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. We sure do. So we leave hire ourselves out and most of us never go back what can you tell me about the genophage ask the solarians if you want details they made it they sure did all i know it makes breeding nearly impossible thousands die in stillbirth and most never get that far every krogan is infected Everyone. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? An interesting question. To ask a Krogan. A very interesting question. Would you rather question. find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. It's true! So long, Rex. Okay. Uh, I could ask Ashley stuff too, but I kind of don't care. The only thing she will tell you is that um, the reason why um, the re so the reason why uh, the uh, first contact war ended is because uh, one of the human alliance like leaders. Um, kind of threw in the towel and had peace talks. And that guy was Ashley's grandfather. And her family has been kind of given shit for it ever since. So she kind of has a hang up about that. And she's a very religious woman. And if you're into that kind of thing, you can have some really interesting discussions with her about being a religious person in the age of spacefaring technology. Because uh, it might seem like those things are incongruous, but not to Ashley. 
So if you're interested in that, you can talk to her about it. I'm not. And ladies and gentlemen, the real star of the Mass Effect trilogy is here. Here she is, the M35 Mako. Give her a round of applause. She's new, she's improved. She hopefully won't be spinning around on us and landing upside down. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. You knew? You worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me. Hey, from doing my work. I'm good. How I'm are you? I'm trying to take down a suspect. It shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Truth. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That was your reason. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things. There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. I don't want him to well, be all nice. I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the citadel. I want him to say fuck the police, system. basically. He hates anyway, that red tape, and I don't blame him. Most of this. I mean, look at what we had to do just to get him to believe us about Saren. Well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Alrighty. And here is our requisitions officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, Oh, uh, we just became a specter. We're about to head out to issue, go uh, find Dr. Liara Tessoni. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons oh, and I armor? I didn't mean to be mean. My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. All right, let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <laughs> okay, so this is a bunch of stuff that he sells, and because we bought that one license, we have some uh, interesting stuff as well. Uh, oh, we have a Medigel upgrade. Yeah, I want to increase my Medigel, especially since I'm playing on a harder difficulty. I'm playing on normal rather than the easy that I usually do. I don't want to fuck around. Nor do I want to find out. Um, alrighty. And now let's go talk to Tali before we go uh, see what is up with this Liara lady. This is Engineer Adams. I suppose we should talk to him quickly. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tali? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Oh, you just picked up and finished so very nice. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. That's right. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Yes, yeah, so we can ask him some personal questions, stuff about the stealth system. Carry on, Adams. Um, Like I said last stream, the stealth system, powered by this Ezo core here, is a mixture of human and Turian technology um, that was kind of developed as a short, sort of, you know, show of peace after the first contact war. Uh, but we need to talk to Miss Tali. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. It was not easy. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Lion's vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship. Thanks, Tress. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true. She's for such me. a little she's such a little ship nerd. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. 
But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Yeah. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Well, let's talk about that. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla. That's a lot. And each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedom? <coughs> well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Interesting. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. All of the These Admiralty have Board! The power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. They sure do! To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Okay, let's ask about the Geth. I oh doubt boy. I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law. I know. But I missed the Quarians. Where illegal. are the Quarians? They didn't the show up in a drop. The were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. Oh, Shepard. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, 
but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. Yep. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. You fucked around and the found war out. Was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Mm-hmm. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. This is an important it's line of question. It's necessary to maintain her. genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Yep. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Alright, so that's everything we can talk about for now. I should go. See you so later. let's stop talking around and let's go shoot shit! We're gonna go... Um find this Liara person this Liara lady and afterwards I believe we will also get to start a brand new tradition a time honor tradition among all commander shepherds um, that I hope when you play your version of the game you will also take up the mantle in as well it's a very important important tradition to carry on um, You'll see more about it uh, once we uh, go and see what is up uh, with this Liara lady. Oh, look at the space, it's so beautiful! What the fuck? Bitch! Uh, how do we. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we need to go to Liara's dick site here in the Ar Artemis Tau cluster. Um. I forget where she is. I have to look. Whoops! Oh! You're not gonna tell me where. Okay, great. Fantastic. We're gonna visit all the planets eventually anyway because I wanna get all of the, um, 
things that you can find because technically it like adds to your readiness at the end. I feel like it's in Sparta, but I truly don't remember. Also, hey, you get to see the Normandy say goodbye. Goodbye, Citadel. We'll be back someday soon. Peace. And there's our first Mass Effect trip. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. God, this game looks so fucking good. I should really probably actually look up where the R is. Just so I don't find, you know. Uh, I was wrong. She's in Nasus. I should have known. On Thera. I recognized the name as soon as I saw it, but here we go. Okay. It is a rich industrial world claimed by the Systems Alliance. We're gonna land on it. We're gonna land our booties onto it. Who am I gonna bring with me? Well, I'm gonna bring my favorites with me. Um, mostly I wanna bring my favorites with me because we're gonna need the heavy firepower because the final battle in this area is a son of a bitch to deal with. So, Garrus, Rex, come with me, won't you? Oh, we're gonna get to f drive the Mako for the first time too. Grab your hands. I want it. Okay, um... Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay, here we go! Ooh, okay, so... She definitely feels tighter. She's definitely not as floaty. Jump. There's the boost, which they just added. It doesn't zoom in on the big bursts anymore, though. I thought it zoomed in on the big bursts, so maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, let's drive it a little bit and uh, see more of what I think about it. Ooh, she's faster. She definitely is a lot tighter. Like, normally I would be spinning left and, like, I'm tapping left and right just to keep myself you know in a safe area and normally i would be slipping and sliding all over the place definitely a lot nicer to control already i can tell you for sure this is already a lot nicer also i want to make sure to quick save a lot and um if i have anything else that i want to get rid of i should speak now forever hold my pieces um, I should probably just Omni Gel these. Um, because I want to have as much Omni Gel as possible to heal this bad Mamma Jamma. Because, uh, things are gonna get real hairy real quick! Seeing our radar already, we're coming up on some not so great stuff. Oh, no, you get to make us stuff in air. Running backwards if your WASD was reversed. That sounds like not a thing that should be happening. Okay, so these motherfuckers, we do not want to get hit by. They hurt. to dodge those things because th these guys will hurt these get armatures painful also uh i should say uh in the original mass effect you got half experience 
uh, if you killed an enemy inside the Mako. And so I would always like pop out of the Mako to finish an enemy off. You get full experience when you kill things in a Mako in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you, Bioware! Because that is a really dumb fucking thing to do. I do not like it. I'm glad they changed it. Oh, this handles so much nicer. Oh, yes. Who would want to switch back to the old controls? Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. We are going to go around the back, Rex. Calm yourself. We avoided the front. The back is here. Okay. Want to try it? Okay. Um. We are facing the wrong way, which means I want to turn. That's where the front would have led us to. Oh, look at that nice smooth turn. Okay, we want to open this area. Yeah, we want to open this one. So, there we go. I forgot how to pop out there for a second. We're going to pop out, and we're going to go into these areas and find where the shutter is. And there should also be some items and good stuff that we can grab as well. Could, which we should, because we're early enough into the game that we could use some additional items. There's enemies in some of these. This is empty. There used to be an enemy here. Maybe they got rid of it. They really made a lot of small changes that I haven't seen people talk about. So I was going to say, let me see what we got here before we... hit by one it's okay if we get hit by one 
But when you start facing off like three of these things at the same time and they all start firing at you, it gets real feisty. Oh, I forgot he was over there. I remember that he's over there and I forgot. Now I remembered again. Oh dear. Out of here, please. Okay, cool. We got him before. Oh, and by the way, you may want to be careful driving over these big guys because they can flip over the Mako. At least they could in the original. I would not want to test that theory here. Nicer. It's quick. It's zippy. It makes me happy. These guys want to kill me. It's a great day. Woo! That elevation will get you every time, baby! Ship. Regroup, regroup! We do not want to hurt the Mako. We do not want to hurt the Mako. Stress. Okay, here we are. We're at a destination. I think we're getting close to it. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. There's probably going to be death in these tunnels. I'm not looking forward to it. Also, I'm interested to see how these drive in the tunnels because the tunnels are always a bitch. Oh, this handle's so nice. Bioware, fantastic job on changing up the Mako. Ah, I didn't even see him now. I ran over him. Suck it! <laughs> we can run over enemies, by the way, in the Mako. Like I said, running over the big things like the armatures can sometimes cause you to flip, but the little guys like that, you can run over them. Valid strategy. Oh my god, it handles so nice. Let's run over some more friends. <laughs> That's just unfair to the Gath, really. Oh, these are the rocky guys. I don't like them. They're not fun. They're not friendly to me. They hurt. Alright, here we go. And this is where we travel on foot. Because we cannot get the Mako through here, so we are going to proceed on foot. That was a very wonderful Mako ride. That was completely, it was just fantastic. I wasn't trying to talk to you.
Ooh, I got eight points. Ah, oh, yes, Unity! It lets me restore my party members. We absolutely need that. Ooh, Jesus. He has enough. Oh my god, I haven't even specced him out at all! Probably would have been a good thing to do. I'm just throwing points into ship, by the way. Do, do not take any suggestions from me on how to spec out people. Gar oh my god, Garrus. they came so soon. Least favorite parts of the entire game is this fucking battle. I think we all know what's coming. If you played this game before, you know and you hate it just as much as I do. Oh, God. Because not only are we dealing with this new level of hell, these sticky frog fuckers, but we get to get up close and personal with an old friend. We don't got our Mako to protect us against the Avatar no more! Oh, they started me behind- Oh, they- They started me behind the cover rather than making me run to it. Thank you, Bioware! <laughs> that is immediately a huge help. So, my suggestion here is to kind of save the armature for last in a weird way. But when he blasts like that... God. God damn it, Rex! Ugh. Oh, God damn it. First aid is a different ability. Uh, 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 uh. Where's first aid? Unity, 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 unity. God damn it, Rex! God 
damn it! I hate this part of the game so much. I hate it. 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 Damn it. Damn it. to get that up close and personal with him. Holy shit. I cannot believe I didn't party wipe there. Whoo! Got it! Fucking hate that fight. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my French, but it makes me the angry. Alright. Makes me so much the angry. We're done. We're good. We are at the final stretch. Here we are. 
Whoo! I did not ex intend to be streaming for this long, but whatever. We're gonna get through this place, then we'll be done. Iconic. Fantastic. And by the way, I could hide behind that barrier as well, if I can manage it. Like, I can use their own barriers against them. If I so chose. Please help me, I need all the unity. It is painful. Oh. Rex, my boy. Maybe some stasis. It sure in is, Rex. It sure in is. Alright, here we go. It's the beginning of the most fun elevator ride. Aside from the Citadel. You look so good. She thought I was like, should I pick up that med kit? And then they started shooting at me. They started shooting at me. Oh god, oh god. Really? Garrus already fucking bit it, you know? To turn down the difficulty for the AI alone. I think we're good, Shepard. I I genuinely look at this. They I have to heal them too. You you big fucking babies. I definitely have to turn it down to casual. I don't want to. But if these guys can't survive those three things, they definitely ain't surviving the final fucking fight in this area. There was no way in hell. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean She tripped code. this on accident, by I knew the way. it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. 
They have been trying different ways to get yeah, that past Krogan's the a problem. That's why I brought my own Krogan. <laughs> because the Krogan is a fucking problem. <laughs> the barrier there was a way past the barrier we have to get you out of here before more geth arrive yes you're right i've seen enough of them to last a lifetime that button should shut down my containment field not so fast shepherd you sure she's on our side her mother's working with Saren. i am not my mother i don't even i don't know why benezia joined Saren. i don't want anything to do with that turian bastard I don't even know how you know about that. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. That's also true. That's also a thing. <sighs> Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still right, here we go. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Oh, good! We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, one of my the favorite Norman lines. And lock in on my signal. On the double, Mister. On the I double, Mister. Sure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Also, one of my favorite Rex lines. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Not this time, motherfucker! Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Hard part. Pete, that was the hard part. 
I cannot imagine that going well on normal difficulty. That Krogan is a jerk. I do feel like the normal difficulty is easier than it was in the original one, though. I do have to say that. Run! Run! One major Too close, uh, Commander. Done. Ten more seconds, we would have been hey, swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Yeah, well, guess I've what? I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. Really? But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. Yeah. The Reapers. Bet you haven't heard that one before. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. It sure was. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Might be, just a little and bit. Just a little bit. Handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. And there's our last... Thank you, Commander. Uh, I am very grateful. Party member. Oh, I Ooh. am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. 
it is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doc. Alrighty, the and now before dismissed. we end the stream for the Mission night, we have found, to do Commander. our favorite activity. You want me to patch you through to the council? Do we want to be patched through to the council? Hmm. Oh, I think we do. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. And so, because I hate these guys, uh, we're gonna be a dick to them uh, as much as we possibly can. Uh, I'll start off nice at first. Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? And, ladies and gentlemen, allow us to indulge in the time honored tradition of calling the council and hanging the fuck up on them. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Woo! God, it feels good! And if you think that's the last time we're gonna do that, you clearly don't know this game. All right, so with that, we are gonna be done for the night. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy, crazy journey. Uh, I am so happy with the way that they have put together this legendary edition and I can't wait to share more of it with you guys. So uh, until next we meet, thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you all soon.